Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas V6 SEL with four motion and captain's chairs. This is Pyrite Silver Metallic. This is a new color for 2021. Not new, it's not a new color to Volkswagen, but it's a new color to the Atlas. Uh, this replaces Reflex Silver Metallic. Uh, it's a little darker in color, a little less bright. Uh, and I personally like it. This car does still have, uh, there's been a number of changes for the 2021, but this one has uh, the same deep lines down the side, under the door handles, from the wheel arches into the tail lights, and also into the headlight. Um, still keeps the three row capability um, on the interior. The interior size didn't change, but the car overall is three inches longer with the new front end and a new rear end. This one does have the Titan black leatherette interior, which features heated seats. It also has chrome roof rails. Uh, if you step down from this model, you go back to black roof rails. It features keyless entry on four doors, LED headlights, LED running lights, LED all weather lights, the air intakes on the front, and the more aggressive chin on the front of the car, the new Volkswagen logo, new design for the 20 inch alloy wheels, it also has blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring. Well, that is your uh, blind spot monitoring, and then easy kick open hatch, LED tail lights, new Volkswagen logo on the back as well, new font for the Chrome Atlas logo on the back right here, uh, and the Chrome is actually extended extended into the tail lights a little bit more. The exhaust tips on the bottom, the Chrome exhaust tips, although they're still fake, are a new design for this model, and then also that's a new design on the uh, trailer hitch as well and that is standard on this car along with the oversized reflector that's also new for the 2021 let's take a look on the inside on the inside is going to look pretty much the same uh, one difference is the white stitching is a little brighter a little more bold now uh, it still keeps three seat memory you have your um, um, lumbar support here and then also your forward and back here and then your seat back adjustments here Manual headrest adjust right here and seat belt clip right there to adjust the seat belt height. As we climb inside, you do keep uh, power windows, power door locks, heated mirrors, although now they're incorporated into the defrost settings. Um, you do have the window lock right here again, and then you also have the uh, powered lift gate where I can actually pull that and open that, and then I can also pull up and hold it. And I hold it till it's closed and it shuts it. Automatic headlights. Fog lights are gone now. They're all weather lights over here. So to turn those on, you just pull out on that guy right there. And that activates the all weather lights. The coin box is still here for storage. A small pair of sunglasses fits in there. My wife uses that in our Atlas. Uh, you still have the telescoping steering wheel where you can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it back in where you need it. And you do also have uh, the new steering wheel, which is a little thicker, I think, than what I have on mine. Uh, and it has more silver components on here than uh, mine does. Mine is more piano black with silver highlights. Uh, again, that new logo, the new Volkswagen logo is in this one. Uh, the mapping of the buttons is all still the same, with the exception of the heated steering wheel now being added to the steering wheel itself up here, right there. Uh, previously, it was down here, over here. Uh, but it's back on the or it's on a steering wheel now Also, you still keep Volkswagen's digital cockpit with an upgrade there. You now have dy dynamic road sign display uh, You'll also have something called traffic jam assist uh, In addition to uh, the lane assist blind spot monitoring adaptive cruise control all of those features The uh, data for the navigation SD card is actually updated a little bit too. So I think it's a newer version uh, by hitting the view button I'm able to bring in crop screen, dial screen, and widescreen, just like I was before. But that's that little icon right there is for my dynamic road sign display. It's telling me that the speed on this being on a parking lot is about five miles an hour. The radio hasn't changed. Uh, the storage bin up here hasn't changed. Uh, but this radio is an MIB2 radio, which allows me to do App Connect for Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Merlink using one of those two USB ports down there. And then there's also an auxiliary port right there. And then also that 12 volt charger port there 
coupled with wireless charging right here. So I'm able to actually lay a phone right there, face up on that guy right there and have it charge lengthwise. Uh, and it will charge through most cases as well, or a lot of cases. If you have a pop socket on the back of your case, uh, typically it won't charge. Um, oh, also that's two USBs instead of the one that previously was in the, the 19 model and they changed it in 2020 to have two. Uh, push button start right here. Then you also have um, your uh, parking brake right here. Just lift up on that to react uh, to uh, activate it. Push down with your foot on the brake to take it off. Over here, the same four motion control here, uh, which allows you to do snow and then your Eco normal sport and custom on the screen here, and then you also have uh, off road and off road custom. And off road custom allows you to tweak different aspects of the drive here. Anyone that has a drop down arrow, you can actually edit how it performs. Uh, and just by turning this knob back to the roadway, now you're back here. Uh, you do also have Park Pilot, which is your uh, on demand rear view camera. Whenever you're stationary, you can push that and it brings up a rear view camera. You do also have trajectory steering. With the steering wheel, turn the wheel, and the yellow lines move accordingly. And you also have this overhead sensor view right here. So it's not an overhead camera, but it shows you sensors at the front of the vehicle and at the back. You can see those little icons, the spaces where the icons will show up. So it detects when something's close by. And then you can also change it, change the view uh, to help you with parking aids, trailer aid, um, and then blind spots. And also the hue, of course, of the camera. Now, this is a super high-quality HD camera. Um, it's one of the best ones I've ever seen in a car. Uh, also, this is an AM FM radio with satellite. CD player is over here in the glove box. Two SD card readers. One's using navigation data, uh, using navigation uh, SD card right here. The other is for video or music. doesn't matter which one you put it in. It works in either one. You have SD card storage right here for further SD cards. I use it on mine because I have an Android phone, but I have iTunes. The wood grain pattern is a little more pronounced now in the SEL. Uh, it's more of a gray tint. It's over here in the door, and it goes across into the dash and over into the other door over here. Up top, I do have a vanity mirror with LED lights now instead of the incandescent bulbs, so it's a, a cooler light. Um, also, I have this giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. That sunshade goes all the way back over the second row passenger's head. And then the sunroof does the same. The second pane of glass is stationary. Does not move. Pardon me, I yawned. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and then you have a pop-up windscreen right there. Carnet is going to be free for five years on this car. There's your information button, roadside assistance, and then your emergency services. As we close that sunroof there. Here's a look at the leatherette seats a little closer the white stitching there on the silver car the interior color is only going to be black and then down inside the armrest there's a third S a USB port right there lots of storage there um, you can actually buy storage trays on Amazon that drop down in here my wife is we've done that for my wife's Atlas or our Atlas there's also a storage tray that you can get there and storage trays that you can put in the door handles let's take a look at the second row seats this particular one comes in at 46480. The extras are going to be the uh, dual captain's chairs in the second row for 695. Monster mats for 285. I don't know if you can see that in this light. Uh, privacy cover for 200 and roadside assistance kit for another 85. I don't know if that shows up there. There you go. Let's take a look in the second row seats. These are captain's chair setups. Right here is the armrest that folds down or folds up out of the way. There's a little rotary dial here where you adjust where this armrest locks in at. So you can adjust the height of where it locks in. Um, both the second row seat doors uh, will have a sunshade in the door. I've already got this one pulled up here. You just lift it up to put it in or let it down. Don't let it slam. If your, kid, if your kids are in the back seat, they figure out that they can unhook that and let it slam. Uh, they'll end up breaking it over time. It's pretty, it's pretty startling when you hear that slap down in there. Uh, you have a magazine cover or a holder right there and there in this sec behind the uh, seats in the second row. Climate control for your rear passengers right here. You can also lock it out on the screen up there. 
Uh, you do also have two USBs and a 115 volt three prong plug in right there so you can charge a laptop or something here. Um, these seats have latch hookups right there and right there and they're actually movable where you can actually put someone in a third row without having to uninstall a, a front facing car seat. There's a look at the second row seats. They sit high off the floor so your knees aren't in your chest. There's a vent right here for rear passengers and also a C pillar vent right there for rear passengers. All right, let's hop out and I'll show you how this seat works. This is what's great about the captain's chairs and also the bench. If you had a bench, it's gonna fill in right there. So you have three seats across this row uh, that you can put car seats in because it'll have latch hookups right there as well. To lift up on this seat here to get into the third row, you just lift up on this lever. The seat pitches forward. Just like that the bottom drops out and then you climb in those headrests do move up just with the flick of a wrist notice how high off the floor that seat is the knees aren't in the chest for your adult passengers and the head the headliner is sculpted so uh, they have room back there even with a ball cap a six foot two six foot three person is still going to be comfortable back there in that seat so to go uh, go back with this seat you just lift up there's a lever underneath to slide the seat back into place and this button here also allows you to fold the seat flat or recline it. So folded flat, it's like that. Those seats there will also fold flat to line up perfectly with this one. Now, if you have a captain's chair, there's gonna be a hole in the center right there. Uh, but if you have a bench seat, it fills in all the way across. The same lever you're gonna lift up on to move the seat back, and I can't move it back with one hand, but I believe me, it's there. Here's a look at that alloy wheel. The LED tail lights on the back and the power assisted lift assisted lift gate. Here's a look through from the back to the front. This is a six p uh, six passenger setup. Uh, if you go with the bench, it's a seven passenger setup, and it's always two or three in the middle. It's always two in the back seat. There's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. A look through to the center instrument or the instrument cluster there, and also the center console. These seats will fold flat as well, just with a little flick, just like that. So you have all of that cargo space and that seat right there will fold flat just like that one over there did. This one does have monster mats. It also has a roadside assistance kit here. The cargo blocks right here. And then also there's a hidden uh, cargo cover right here, still in the plastic underneath here and the spares underneath the floor here under carpet, under carpet as well. 12 volt charger right there. There's a look at those C pillar vents again. It's, again, this is a power assi assisted lift gate, so I just pushed that button right there. Whoops, I pushed it too many times. And there's a look at your LED tail lights. They're not on, but those are all LED. That's an upgrade from 2020 uh, where they now have LED headlights and LED tail lights all the way around. So if this video has helped you in any way, please let me know. Please give me a call at 636 290 4257. I'm also on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook at resales cars any of these videos on my channel if they've helped you in any way please let me know uh, also i'd appreciate if you ask for me when you call or either call or uh, show up at the dealership please ask for me if you buy from me at bomberito st peter's in addition to the four-year fifty thousand mile bumper to bumper warranty that the car comes with and two years of free maintenance i will give you a third year of free maintenance so your 10 20 and thirty thousand mile oil change will be covered by the dealership that is a local only deal for that third year. The first two you can do at any dealership in the country uh, as that's baked into the warranty. And that third one will be a local deal with our dealer only. Uh, also, if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's, you get a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. Fly in, drive out, you get that warranty. If you're interested in this car, please give me a call, 636-290-4257, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Reese Sells Cars.